This is Extra Time, presented by Purina. Welcome into Extra Time. I'm Tamar Scher. St. Louis City SC has five matches left this season. Two at City Park, including another rivalry duel with Sporting KC and three on the road. Tomorrow, they are set to face San Jose at PayPal Park. Kickoff is at 9.30 on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. If City SC is going to make a run at the MLS Cup playoffs, their defense will have to be a big reason why. Sports and Fours' Brian Kennedy sits down with German defender Giannis Horn for this week's 1v1. 1v1, presented by Purina. Giannis Horn, thanks for chatting with us this week for 1v1. Thank you. I think you're the last of the new uh, players I've had a chance to talk to, definitely the ones that are from Germany. First question is an easy question. What's the transition been like to America, to MLS, and to St. Louis? Um, thank you first for the interview. Um, it's so nice to be here. Um, the team made it very easy for me. Um, the team is nice, the facility is nice, the city is nice. So yeah, my first impression from the, from the city and the, the club is uh, very, very good. It's, you were kind of throwing in, right? You're yeah. immediately getting clock, you know, you're, you're starting. Uh, what's that been like, kind of being able to mesh with your teammates and get on the, on the pitch and perform? Yeah, for me, it's, it's, it's good to have some Germans here as well because, uh, yeah, I asked Teddy, for example, before I came to St. Louis, how everything here is, and he told me, yeah, it's, it's nice, you will see it, your family will love it. And yeah, they made it so easy for me, but of course, for us, it's important uh, not only to speak with the Germans, it's important to, to be uh, connected with all the guys. As far as on the pitch, uh, like I said, you were throwing in there, have you seen your skills kind of integrated in this team who needed some, some guys on the defensive end? I think I'm, I'm a good left defender with good left foot. Um, I want to make some assists this year. Uh, that's my goal. I want to help the team. I want to make. Uh, I want to stay on the pitch the whole time. That's that's my goal. And yeah, I want to help the team. The rest of the season, of course, it was bad to to lose the la to lose the last game. But yeah, we have five more games, and yeah. We want to get five wins, of course. Yeah, well, and with that, obviously, yeah, the New England game, you all had a draw, a disappointment, then the Minnesota game, mm -hmm. another disappointment. What's kind of the, the vibe and the emotions of the team and kind of wanted to bounce back? Yeah, after the last game, uh, it, was, it was tough, of course, because before the game, we were like, okay, this game is very important for us because we, want, we play Minnesota twice. So it was not nice to lose this game, of course. Uh, the, the next two or three days, they were tough. But we spoke about the game with the coach and uh, all the stuff and yeah, with, with, the, with the players as well. So um, we have to improve, we have to defense, our defense has to be better. We concede too many goals. I heard from the guys in, in the team that, that this happens a lot of times this season. So yeah, hopefully the next five games and the next season will be better. All right, well, thanks for chatting with us and good luck on the long trip over to San Jose and, and bring us back a win. Thank you. This summer, a new Ronald McDonald House location opened up in the Grove. City SC players spent an afternoon in the space prepping meals for families. The event kicked off the new Meals from the Heart program. It's a volunteer-led initiative where groups help prep meals for families staying in the Ronald McDonald House. The players also hosted an ice cream social for the guests, adding sweetness to the facility that gives so much to the community. The last thing a family wants when they come home from spending all day at a hospital, probably in crisis, is to worry about what they're going to make for dinner, you know? And then that's where we come in. We Not only do they have a place to sleep here and the amenities of the house, but then they can come home to a warm, comfortable meal every evening. It's one thing that we can take away from them they don't have to worry about. We've had our ups and we've had our downs, and so I think that... You know, when you're able to do something like this, you're able to realize that there's more uh, to being a professional athlete than just wins and losses. 